Hi guys, it's Kate here from dudehack.com and today you're going to find out how to spot fake Tinder profiles, bots, catfish and scams. If you've ever watched the show Catfish, you are probably full of skepticism when it comes to any form of online dating. And that is completely fair. Sure, you're on Tinder to meet someone special, chat with someone cool, or maybe just have some casual fun, but the most important thing is looking out for yourself. Unfortunately, on any online dating site, you are going to come across fake profiles. It's just a part of being online these days. And we are gonna take a deep dive into all the things you need to look out for to avoid getting yourself into a situation with a fake profile. But before we do, first, a little reminder, my name is Kate from dudehack.com, a website that is everything online dating. If that sounds even a little bit interesting to you, make sure you check it out. And if by the end of this video, you're questioning if Tinder is really the right dating app for you, go and take Dudehack's free quiz. This is gonna tell you what dating app is best suited to you. And while you're over there, Dude Hack also has an ebook called Tinder Hacked, a guide to teach you how to not completely suck at online dating, and it's free, so it's definitely worth checking out. You'll find both links in the description box below. Now, let's take a look at all the telltale signs of how to spot them so you can avoid any fake Tinder profiles you happen to come across. First, let's get across the types of fake profiles. Generally, you could categorize any profile that aren't the person they claim to be in four different categories. First, we have bots. Out of all the fake Tinder profiles out there, bots are the most common. A Tinder bot is a computer program used to message you on Tinder, trying to trick you into thinking that they are a real person. Most of the time, they will automatically send a few messages followed by a dangerous link. Sometimes they will try to be a little smarter using predicted responses based on keywords that you've said in your messages to kind of replicate a more back and forth conversation. Bots may be the most common, but they are by far the most easiest to spot. Next, we have human controlled fake profiles with an agenda. This one will be a lot harder to catch out because they will be an actual human controlling the messages. This will be someone trying to push a certain agenda, whether it's a service, product or scam. Following that comes the lonely catfish. This one is a little more on the sad side. Basically, this would be someone who might be lonely and obviously quite self-conscious and just wants to chat. It's not very dangerous in the essence of immediate impact, but if you haven't seen the show or movie Catfish, then you don't know how these lying people can mess with other people's lives. And lastly, we have the dangerous catfish. This one is the most messed up. I definitely don't want to scare you away from using Tinder, but it's really the most important to address. This would be someone pretending to be someone else, trying to plan a meetup with God knows what intentions. So now we've run through the different types of fake profiles, let's discuss what these profiles could possibly want from you. Once you know exactly what these fake profiles would be looking for, this will definitely make it easier to spot them and take necessary action to avoid them at all costs. Some of these reasons and agendas include financial gain, uh, to push a service product or business, trying to get you to download dangerous malware, get your personal details for identity theft, to mess with you, yep, there are really people out there like this, or to make themselves feel better. Now, we are just about to jump into how to actually tell if a Tinder profile is fake. But before we do, if you are liking this video so far, we would really appreciate if you could give it a like and even hit that subscribe button for similar content. Okay, now let's look at 22 telltale signs that who you're speaking with isn't who they claim to be. So first, we have their profile is missing a bio, occupation, interests, and other basic information. If their profile just looks blank and lacking the human touch, be cautious. Number two, their profile is hiding their distance or age. Sure, this can be completely normal for some, but if this is yet another thing missing from their profile, you may be dealing with a bot or someone located overseas ready to scam you. Three, celebrity profile pictures. I think this one kind of speaks for itself. If you have a feeling you recognize that person from somewhere and most of their pictures are either professional or from the red carpet, swipe left. 
Four, there are random links in their bio. An unexplainable link with no context in their bio should send you swiping left fast. Five, they don't use fantastic grammar in their bio or messages. Generally, this will be because the person using the account or person that programmed the bot isn't from your country and English might not be their first language. Six, they only have one photo. Definitely doesn't always mean that they're fake, but this is definitely usually one of the many red flags that you could see in a fake profile. Seven, the conversation doesn't flow normally and their replies don't make sense. If you start throwing out some questions and your match just blatantly ignores them, all their responses are just complete nonsense and have nothing to do with your last message, you are most likely dealing with a bot. Eight, they reply extremely fast, like faster than humanly possible. It would be pretty difficult to send a series of messages inviting someone to join a website in like 0.0003 seconds. Nine, they wanna move the conversation off Tinder. Usually they will ask you to join a strange app that no one really uses like Kik. This has red flags written all over it. 10, they send a random link early in the conversation. Again, ask yourself why any normal person would wanna send you a random link within a couple of their first messages. Number 11, their profile is overly sexual. If you find that their photos are overly sexual, this could mean that it is a fake profile, but not always. 12, they spontaneously give you a strange looking phone number. If a girl all of a sudden asks you to text her on a number that doesn't have the same area code, yet her profile says that she's close, something's up. 13, things in their profile don't match up. For example, if they have their Instagram listed and their username has their name in it and that name doesn't match with their name on Tinder, they're most likely to be a bot. 14, they invite you to view them on a cam website. This one is very prevalent. The whole join my cam show so I can see that you're real and then I'll come hang out with you is bull crap. Even if there's a little part of you that wants to see them naked on a cam show, having your identity or credit card details stolen probably isn't. 15. They strictly have professional photos. Every now and then you'll come across someone who is actually a model or just takes a lot of professional photos, but the giveaway is all of their photos are likely to be like this. If so, they've probably stolen it from a model's Instagram. Alternatively, they use obvious stock photos taken in the studio. 16. Seems a little too good to be true. I hate to say it, but if you have a gut feeling that it's too good to be true, chances are it is. Don't get me wrong, you are going to match with girls that maybe you thought were out of your league. But if a bikini model matches with you and then tells you that she's horny, chances are it's fake. 17, immediate invite for a long-term relationship. On the flip side of the above, sometimes a bot will ask you straight away to jump into a long-term relationship because you would do anything for your girl, right? Including giving them their credit card details, social security, etc. 18, ask you to send money, gift cards, or gifts. No matter how smitten you think your match is with you, do not send her money or anything close to it. Besides the fact that sending a girl money or gifts before meeting them is pretty desperate, you run into the risk of having your credit card details stolen. 19, invites you to have some fun straight away. Again, if it seems too good to be true, it probably is. If she starts dirty talking and asking you to come over straight away, nine times out of 10, something is all right. 20, obvious bot speak. If the messages appear almost like code or emojis are spelled out rather than just using, it's probably a bot with some really poor programming. 21, pictures are obviously very old. There are a few giveaways for this. Their photos will be ridiculously grainy and may feature flip phone selfies. Sometimes bots will use people's old MySpace photos or something to make it more difficult to search. 22, pictures are cropped strangely. If your match has multiple photos where half of her face is chopped off, chances are it was uploaded by a Keep in mind that you will have matches that might fit one or two of the above, but don't stress if you talk to a girl who seems completely normal, but just doesn't have all of this in her bio, don't freak out and assume she's a bot. Use this as a guideline, but don't get too paranoid. 
Okay, so now you know how to recognize a fake account, here are some rules to avoid being duped by a fake Tinder profile. Never click any random link sent to you. This is how these fake profiles will be able to upload harmful malware to your device, which could cause irreparable damage. Don't ever give money to anyone on any online dating site, no matter how much you might feel you trust this person or what the reason may be for sending this money, you are not going to be the smooth knight in shining armor. You will be on the receiving end of a scam. Never give personal details to anyone. I think this is an obvious one, but you'd be surprised if for whatever reason you've ignored my above advice and end up on a website from a link that your map sent you, do not enter your credit details or any details anywhere. If you have any suspicions, search your matches pictures in Google. These days, it is so easy to search an actual image to see if it has been taken from another location on the web. You can do this in Google Images using the icon highlighted below. If you still have any suspicions, just ask your match to verify their identity. This doesn't have to be an interrogation if you have a tiny inkling that your match is someone else. You can politely and not intrusively verify your match isn't some dude actually in Nigeria. So how do you actually verify a Tinder profile? First things first, ask to see their social media accounts. If their Instagram is attached to their profile and not private, you don't even need to ask. Make sure you look at how long that they've been active on Instagram and how many followers they have. It might be a little fishy if they have a few followers and only started their account a week ago. With Facebook, most scammers or other profiles probably won't give it to you. If they say that they don't actually have Facebook, they are full of crap because you need a Facebook account to set up a Tinder. Any avoidance of showing you an established social media account that has been going for more than a month or two should be a major red flag. Ask for their Snapchat. The reason this can be easily one of the ways to verify the identity of your match is that they can send you a picture of them in real time. It tells you when a photo has been sent from a camera roll or rather than taken live. FaceTime or Skype. If you're still really unsure to be pretty much 100%, you could ask for FaceTime or Skype if they appear to be making excuses like their webcam is broken, red flag. Okay, so now you have all the tools to recognize and avoid fake Tinder profiles. So now here's how to report them. If you're already matched, press the red flag in the top right corner. Press report and unmatch, and then press feels like spam. If you've come across them but haven't swiped yet, scroll to the bottom of their profile and press report, and then press feels like scam. So because I would like to finish on a positive, the good news is that Tinder is constantly spending the big bucks to ensure spam and scams stay off your swiping screen. I can tell you with confidence that we have moved past the worst years of fake Tinder profiles. Sure, some might pop up every now and then, but Tinder is more vigilant than ever to take any of these fake profiles down before they can cause too much damage. And to be honest, guys, if you keep some common sense and trust your gut, you really shouldn't find yourself getting scammed by anyone. And there we have it, guys, everything that you need to know about fake Tinder profiles. And if you're thinking, I'm still not sure if Tinder is really the right app for me. Head over to dudehack.com and take our dating app quiz. This is gonna tell you what dating app is best suited to you. And while you're there, grab a copy of Dude Hack's ebook, Tinder Hacked, a guide to teach you how to not completely suck at online dating. You'll find both links in the description box below. I really hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure you hit that like button. And if you do wanna find out more information on the dating apps, make sure you check out our other videos. Oh, and hit that subscribe button for similar content. And that's all for today. Make sure you check back in for regular videos soon. I'll see you next time. Bye guys.